you know, this is why sometimes people need to keep their mind busy and <clears throat> do things that has nothing to do with their job. It doesn't matter what kind of job you have. It's important to keep your mind rolling, doing stuff, you know, that um, or makes you feel good, I would say, because um, I believe that 99% of people in the United States go through this and it's what we call mental health. When we say mental health, it doesn't mean that the person has um, issues in a way that they could probably go against themselves. But when we talk about mental health, it means um, a huge spectrum of people in general. And one of the jobs that I think people go through stuff more than others I would say is the law enforcement. Why? Because when they are, let's say, um, police officers, uh, federal agent, 99% of the time, they have to face things that regular people or normal people don't usually see. And <clears throat> when I say when when I say regular people, I'm talking about civilian in general. When you're a police officer or when you are a law enforcement, you have to face a lot of things. You have to deal with people that are victim of rape. You have to deal with people that are victim of homicide, uh, suicide. You have to deal with people that are victim of situations that on a regular basis, you don't really see out there as a civilian. When this individual have to deal with things like this, and they pretty much have to go home. It doesn't matter how for how long you've been doing the job. It doesn't matter for how long you've been doing whatever you've been doing as a law enforcement. But there's a point, there's a time in your life that at least one of those things that you're seeing, one of those situations that you have to face, gonna come to your head and gonna come to your mind. And in some way, it's gonna affect you. And this is the importance to do things beside the job, you know? It's really important to acquire um, some sort of mechanism that you could deviate, that you could avoid some of those thoughts when they come to your head. Because if you could imagine how often this individual as a law enforcement have to face all these type of things, you know, like when they found dead body, when they found people you know, uh, this in, 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 in a total discomposition of their body, when they see all these type of things, in a way, they have to come to your head. I understand that some people do create that uh, immune system that can fit pretty much avoid all those situations that they face each and every day. But at the same time, it's very important to find some sort of way to um, avoid or deviate those thoughts when they come to your head. You know, sometimes you see people really quiet at work. Sometimes you see people um, that in a way they pretty much isolate from everybody else. And those, I believe, are key points of people going through situation in terms of uh, their they mental health. When you see people, you know, isolated, and when you see people that they don't really want to talk, they don't really want to share, they don't really want to um, engage in some whatever type of conversation at work, especially when those group, you have to be careful with those. Um, sometimes people tend to keep stuff to themselves and it's always good to have somebody to vent. Whatever, whatever the situation might be that you might be going through, it's good to have someone to vent, at least one person there just to listen to you, whatever you have to say. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what what could it be. Just to have someone on your side, that like a go-to person that you could go to that person and tell them, you know, how you feel, how your day's going, how your your family's. When you see people like this, that... um in a way they kind of isolate themselves. It's a significant point of awareness in terms of their mental health. 
a lot of people tend to hide themselves, tend to hide to themselves whatever they might be going through because they don't want to share what's going on in their life because sometimes they feel afraid, sometimes they feel ashamed, sometimes they feel um, that it's not important at the moment. And this whole thing could keep piling and piling and piling and piling. And you get those people get to the point that in one second they could boom, blow up. And you don't want to get to that point. It's always good to have somebody to talk to. It's, it's always good to have somebody to listen to. It's always good to have some sort of um, uh, different activity that has nothing to do with your job. Regardless of whatever it is, it's good to have something to do beside the jobs. You know, when you go to the academy, it's always, they always say, don't just um, go to work. You know, just don't do the job. You got to find something else to do. You know, and I always say to to people that I know and basically to all, all law enforcement that it's always good to have some sort of um, sport to play. You know, go out there, play basketball, play football, play baseball, play softball, whatever it is. But you have to find some sort of way that completely disconnects you from everything that had to do with law enforcement. Because I understand and I know that um, it's a hard job. And most of the time you have to see things that regular people don't get to see. And it's basically like a movie. You're the actor, you're on the scene, and people get to watch from the outside, but they don't really know and they don't really not understand what you go through at the moment or on scene. A lot of people do different activities, and I understand that I would say 85% of law enforcement, they um they they only escape that they have or the, the escape that they kind of find for themselves is to drink. Because when they drinking, when they laughing, joking around and stuff like that, that's a um a way to disconnect. But at the same time, um uh, once the 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 alcohol grade or the fascination about drinking goes away and you set and you come back to yourself, things tend to be different. So in a way, I always say that um, it's good to have something else to do beside the job. And for instance, you know, um, you could go out there, ride a bike. You could go out there, play some sport. You could go to the movie theaters. You could go to uh, games from, you know, professional sport. You could do a lot of things. You could read a book. You could um, um, do different things. The point is, do, just don't go to work, come back home, and sit down to drink beer. Because things get to pile little by little, and you're going to get to the point that Whatever you're doing to avoid or to or not to think about things, they always gonna come back to you. Some people are afraid to talk, you know, they are afraid to talk to others because in this scale or this um environment, I will say, or this field as a law enforcement, everything tend to be uh, everything tend to become a job uh, a joke. People like to joke about everything. And that's why, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people, whether they're going through situation, whether they're going, they going through whatever they might be going through, they are afraid to talk to anybody because you know and I know everybody going to take it as a joke. And all the people are afraid to say to say stuff or to talk about whatever the situation might be because um, there's no trust, you know? There's no trust. They don't really trust anybody. They don't trust the, the agency. They don't trust anybody at all. And that's why they going through whatever they go through. And at the end, when others find out, it's pretty much too late. So this is what I will say to you. You know, if you're going through whatever situation, if you have negative thoughts about yourself, 
if you have a negative thinking, if you are trying to harm yourself, harm others, if you believe that whatever the situation you might be going through is somebody else's blame, if you believe that um, nobody want to talk to you, if you believe that nobody want to be around you and stuff like that, you know, seek, seek help. You need help. There's no need to go to um, difficult moment or difficult situation in life by yourself. There's always a way to escape and there's always a way to solve it. There's no problem in the world that you cannot solve at all. And sometimes people tend to um, go the opposite route. And instead of say something or seek help, what they do is that they pretty much kill themselves. And you don't have to be physically dead to be killed or to kill yourself because there's other people that in a way, the way they act and the way they feel and the way they um, behave around others is pretty much like a dead body. They don't say much, they don't talk, they don't uh, socialize, they don't share, they don't engage, they don't really do nothing. They just there as a you know like a, like a normal body, and and there's different different way to to express yourself. There's different way to say um, no to those negative thought, and there's different way to enjoy yourself. You know you could do like I said, and I keep saying it. There's a lot of things that you could do in order to keep your mind busy, because if your mind is busy, there's no uh, space for negative thought. There's no space for um, negative thinking. So this is what I will say to you. And always have somebody to talk to. It's good to have somebody to talk to. Even if you want to talk to yourself, talk to yourself. Do something about it. Whether you're feeling any type of way, whether you're feeling like life is not worth, do something about it. Because you have the potential. You have the capability. And... The only thing is that you have to be willing and able to understand what you're going through and accept it, keep going, have somebody to talk to, go out there, do things that you might enjoy, do things that bring some sort of satisfaction to yourself, make you feel proud about yourself, and do things that, in a way, you could help others. Be the voice, help somebody else, because sometimes we tend to see our situation we tend to see our problems. Meanwhile, there's other people or multiple people around us going through the same or worse. So this is it for today. Stay tuned for more. One Under.